This is the New England Patriots news feed on CLNS Media. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, 2017. I'm Michael Longer, reporting for CLNS Media, the leading online provider of audio and video coverage for all New England sports. The NFL released the 2018 Pro Bowl rosters late on Tuesday night, and four members of the New England Patriots have been selected to the AFC squad. Most notably, Tom Brady has been selected to his franchise record 13th Pro Bowl and his ninth in a row, breaking a tie that he held with offensive tackle John Hanna for the most consecutive Pro Bowl selections in franchise history. Brady currently leads the NFL in completions with 346 and in passing yards with 4,163, and is also third in the league in touchdown passes with 28. He's now also one of only eight players in NFL history to be selected to at least 13 Pro Bowls, with the others being Peyton Manning, Tony Gonzalez, Bruce Matthews, Merlin Olsen, Ray Lewis, Jerry Rice, and Reggie White. The other three Patriots selected to this year's Pro Bowl are tight end Rob Gronkowski, fullback James Devlin, and special teams captain Matthew Slater. Gronkowski is headed to his fifth career Pro Bowl and his third in the last four seasons, as he currently leads all tight ends in receiving yards with 1,107 and in yards per reception with 15.9. Slater is on his way to his seventh consecutive Pro Bowl as a special teamer, having made the team in that position every year since 2011. This selection also ties Slater with Steve Tasker for the most Pro Bowl selections as a special teamer in NFL history. Devlin will be going to his first career Pro Bowl after appearing in 63 games with 19 starts at fullback for New England. He is also a core member of the special teams unit. According to a report from the Boston Globe, the Patriots have stripped Tom Brady's personal trainer Alex Guerrero of various team privileges. In addition to being his trainer, Guerrero is also a close friend of Brady's as well as a business partner who helped Brady launch the TB12 Center, where Brady and several other Patriots players have trained and received treatment since it opened in 2013. According to the Globe report, Guerrero, who has an office near the Patriots locker room inside Gillette Stadium, is no longer permitted to treat players other than Brady in that office. He is also reportedly banned from boarding the Patriots team plane and has had his sideline access revoked. Because of the new restrictions placed on Guerrero, several Patriots players are continuing to receive treatment from him at the TB12 Center, which is located just outside of the stadium in Patriot Place. The Globe reported back in 2015 that Guerrero's role with the team had caused some friction among the Patriots' medical and training staff, who were concerned that Guerrero's alternative treatments clashed with the team's methods. That led some staff members to approach Bill Belichick about their concerns, however, according to the Globe, Belichick indicated to the training staff that his hands were tied because of Brady's special status with the team. Patriots owner Robert, Robert Kraft also told the New York Times in 2015 that Guerrero's role with the team, quote, doesn't come without its challenges, end quote. Brady has been working with Guerrero since 2008 when Guerrero helped Brady recover from a torn ACL, and both Brady and Bill Belichick have refused to comment on the situation in their radio interviews this week. That's it for today's Patriots news feed. To get even more up to speed on the five-time Super Bowl champs, follow CLNS Media on Twitter at CLNS Media and on Facebook at facebook.com slash CLNS Media. And be sure to subscribe to the CLNS Media New England Patriots post-game show and the Patriots Beat podcast feed, available on iTunes and Stitcher, as well as on YouTube and the free CLNS Media mobile podcast app. This is Michael Longy for Patriots News Feed. <laughs>